All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Bonfire Debate. The baits. The baits. We have all the bait in the world for any fish you could ever want. But also, welcome to Bonfire Debates. Or welcome back yeah. to Bonfire Debates, where we, in fact, do not sell bait. We sell laughs and a little bit of sadness, I guess. Right? Yeah, if we did, we would be at most of the bases, though. <laughs> that is... <laughs> that is very personally accurate. Yes, I am a very master debater. Mm, indeed. <laughs> yes, I am, yes. I am a distinguished gentleman in that field. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> right, so, what do we have planned for you all this week? Uh, nothing as uh, controversial as uh, sex workers. Uh, I would say it's probably the least controversial thing that people have spoken about over the last, uh, I don't know, uh, three years? Two years? Three years? Hey, wait. Uh, I don't know. I feel like like <laughs> it was really big at like, like 2019, like 2018, 2019. It's like, I don't like, why would I want to save my children by giving them medicine that has been proven to work? You know, like who wants that hassle in life? So it's like right about like 20, 2018, like yeah, I say twenty eighteen, like a good time. Maybe like anti vaxxers So yeah, what's yeah. that? So uh, four years. Yes. They got real quiet in twenty twenty. <laughs> I mean, they got real loud too. They got real, real loud. There's entire Reddit threads d d d devoted to these people. Facebook became their breeding ground. But anyway, you read the thumbnail. We're doing five anti-vaxxers and two, yes, this week there's two fakers, not just one. I don't know why Jubilee keeps mixing it up. Keep us on our toes, I guess. So this week we've got we to gotta find two cats in that hat, not just one. There's a furry Mike Myers in all of us. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, and a certain let's... Canadian prostitute. Oh, <laughs> never mind. No, I refuse to do a Mike Myers prostitute joke. That was below me. <laughs> Just like she was below him. <laughs> uh, smoking that Canadian bacon. Thank you. I will be here all week. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's see what these uh, anti vaxxers have to say for themselves, shall we? Yes. Bring on the bullshit. I'm anti vaccine. 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 Holy shit. All right. First of all, all of these people are like fucking 12 years old. Yeah. So, like, they couldn't find the Facebook mom group somehow? What, what happened, Jubilee? What happened? one out. Oh, no. Wade, you're on your side again. I am not vaccinated and I haven't been vaccinated. I'm sorry. I haven't been vaccinated. Hey, Wade's back in all the vaccines. I don't know what happened there. You fell for Dale. Yes. Oh, hard, bro. Oh, my God. Look how smug this bitch looks at you. Nico, she's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, I, I know yes. exactly who that is. She's like, I so, let so, him anti-vax me. Mm, yes, indeed. Okay, so is it um, so is it anti-vaxxers looking for the vaxxers, or is it the vaxxers looking for the anti-vaxxers? Like, who's no, hunting no, no. who? So the the group is anti-vaxxers, but two of them yeah. aren't. Two of them are normal, functioning, smart, intelligent human beings. All right, the medicated. All right. <laughs> yes. The chosen people. <laughs> All right, let's go. Their main, their main I form like of medicine. When I tell people I'm anti vax, I haven't been vaccinated. Oh, sorry. I'm a pharmacist. What? It's like their main, their main form of medicine is like thoughts and prayers. These are the guys that send thoughts and prayers. It's like, oh, you could actually save them. No. So we thought about it, we prayed about it. It's in, it's in God's hands. Yeah, yeah. These are these are the same genius human beings that were like, oh, I I I don't want to put a vaccine in my body because I I don't know what's in it. But they'll go to McDonald's and eat 
patty. I mean, we know there's beef in the patty. Okay? You know, oh, yeah. But just like you can, like, because of, of governmental, like, regulations, you can go and find the government websites and McDonald's is forced to tell you what's in the patty. So are the drug companies forced to tell you what's in the drugs. Imagine that. The difference is we don't understand half the shit that's in the vaccine. But that's us. We're dumb. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, right, it's, the same, it's the same argument of, like, if you want something fixed and the mechanic's like, yeah, it's your it's your dingy mabop screw hickey that's loose. And you're like, mm-hmm. yeah, sure, okay, cool. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, let's <laughs> hear these people, what they have to say for themselves and introduce themselves. It feels like discrimination when I tell people I'm anti vax or I haven't been vaccinated. I'm a pharmacist, and when they put in with the COVID vaccination, I just felt really uncomfortable. It's just made me open my eyes to how many things are in that. Huh. That's a, okay. It's either she's the most full of shit person ever, or this is one hell of a bold strategy for a faker. I won't lie. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, so hear, me, hear me out in her defense. Okay. All right. Okay, so could she be like okay with medicine and just not want to be vaccinated? When did this video come out? This was 2022. Yeah. There's reasons. Yeah, it was beginning of this month, 8th of July. Okay, so. Yeah, these people are dumb. It's, it's possible she thinks that, like, like, what do you determine as an anti vaxxer? So, so she, like, she takes medicine, she just doesn't want the vaccine. Okay, yeah, I guess, I don't know, because Jubilee haven't really uh, given us the line work of what's an anti-vaxxer. Because, yeah, usually anti-vax extends to, like, stupid, holistic, like, medications. But, uh, uh, well, also, you are saying that if she's telling the truth, that she's an anti-vaxxer and a pharmacist. I'm saying that it's a, a bold ass strategy. Well, well, um, the drug dealer doesn't often take his drugs. Yeah, but that's a profits thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a profits thing. thing. That's not a. That's not because the drugs aren't good. <laughs> okay, let's give let's give this one a bit more than forty five seconds and see where it goes. <laughs> all right, all right. Vaccines and how much we don't discuss them in the medical community. My anti is toward COVID vaccines. Actually, truth be told, the rapid test we just took was the first COVID test I've ever taken. <laughs> I refused to take a COVID test. The vaccine was pushed so that they could rig the election, and that's personally my belief. So you believe the election was rigged? Oh my god, ow, my hurt! My head hurts! What the fuck? My head hurts! Oh! Do you know what this reminds me you of? Know what? He's, definitely, the... he's definitely telling the fucking truth because there's no way you put your name out there with such a hot take and not mean it. There's no way. All right, Ryan is safe. You're, you're giving Ryan a safe one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> he's getting the vax bars. God damn it. Okay, okay. Why, why yeah. would they... First of all, the, the, <laughs> the fucking vaccine wasn't rushed, all right? It was yeah. just, it was produced a lot faster because, believe it or not, since the fucking polio vaccine, medical technology has come a long ass way and we don't have to make vaccines the way we used to. So we can make yeah. them faster now. But we can. Oh my god, why would the entire world, the entire fucking population of Earth, fast track a vaccine to rig the American election? No one gives a shit. Dude. They need to get out of their own assholes at some point. All right, okay, wait. This video, this, we need to, okay. <laughs> this is, we're, we're a minute in. <laughs> and yeah. This, this video is going to be like three hours long. All right, we need to, yeah. they need to watch a bit more. Let's go, let's go. I believe okay, let's go. 
school. Growing up, I got most of my vaccines. However, I especially did not want to get the COVID vaccine. The media censorship was the biggest start to me, kind of like he said, waking up to this. We know ourselves better than going into a doctor who only sees us for a few minutes at a time. You said you were a pharmacist? Yeah. Uh, did you leave your work? You kind of implied that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with the increase of the vaccine mandate and having it required for the rest of the chain. Um, so I actually have a family member that does work from home from an independent mail order pharmacy and she got me a gig there and since then they were pretty chill. So, so you left willingly, they didn't like ask you to leave? Yeah. So I used to actually, I started as a teacher in elementary school and they actually asked me to leave because it was mandated that you had to be vaccinated to be in like a group of kids. So that was really frustrating for me. Yes, obviously it was mandated because you couldn't get a bunch of fucking kids that don't get that sick from COVID to go home and kill their grandparents. No, it's herd immunity, dude. It's herd immunity. Well, he's just blending with the sheep. He's just Ooh, blending with right, the sheep. You know what? I thought this video was going to be funny, but I'm getting real angry. <laughs> Jeez, bro. I'm getting real mad. I'm like, oh, how could you be this fucking stupid? Well, all right. Let's, oh, God. let's Let us try and continue. I just, how could you, as this, as this gentleman... Mm -hmm. Like, act the victim in this situation. How could you be like, oh, well, you as a pharmacist who has been educated in how vaccines are made and how they work are against them and out of your own free will left your company, but I'm the victim. My school forced me to leave because I wouldn't do the basic human thing. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's go back. <laughs> Me because working with kids is a big passion of mine, and the fact that I was fired from my career just because of a personal choice is like really upsetting to me. Yeah. So that's why I'm very passionate about this issue now. I was actually asked to leave nurse. Hold on. Him being he's, a online. he's like, he's like, oh, I got fired for a personal choice. Yeah, dude, it's a bad one. It's just like how we're firing other people for having the personal choice of me tooing woman. They're also getting fired for that personal choice that they made. You know, the Bill Cosby's and the R. Kelly's and the fucking yeah. Jeffrey Epstein's of the world. They also all got all fired good. because of their fucking personal choice. Because it's a stupid one. It should be fucking illegal to kill people. <laughs> it, it should be. I've seen it. Dude, there's been a lot of like, thing, like videos popping up on my feed lately. Yeah. Like There was this one of these guys called the, um, the Scream Killers. Uh, this happened a few years ago where these two guys literally recorded themselves um, driving to this girl's house that they yeah, knew yeah. she was alone and they broke into her house and murdered her and then recorded their reactions afterwards as they're driving away. The teacher. Huh? Well, they murdered the teacher. Did they murder a teacher? Holy shit. Well, <clears throat> yeah, it's like these two kids, still kids, like just go to this person's house, like recording themselves saying this is what we're going to do like it shouldn't murdering someone shouldn't be illegal and then they record themselves at the aftermath saying like no this is what we did holy shit holy shit and it's like what the fuck I'm, no. I'm, I'm sorry murdering someone should not be illegal correct I don't, I don't even know <laughs> I don't even know where to go with that like it's such a stupid take like all right. Anyway, hi everybody. We're back. We're gonna listen to these very dumb people, and I'm gonna try not get angry. This should be fun. Nursing <laughs> school. I started for a month, and then they accepted my religious exemption, and then a month into it, said never mind. So yeah, I looked out because I go to I go to college in uh, Oregon, and uh, at first they were like, no, you can't come in here without a vaccine and everything. But I was able to get the philosophical exemption, and then they wanted to test me weekly, and I was like, no, like like I'm not doing that. And then um, after kind of going back and forth, they were like, okay, like, you're fine. Oh, wait. Oh, um, it's oh. It's serious. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. All right. They didn't even get through everybody. No, it's like they, they skipped a few people. No, I don't think they skipped anyone. I just think, like, they, they, they fucking worst me sob stories of why they shouldn't get vaccinated and be decent yeah. human beings. Obviously, because they have to justify why they have this opinion right because mm -hmm. it's like it's like if somebody fucking came out and they were like oh two plus two is not four it is in fact eight 
And then they whoop out like a six-page mathematical formula to prove it. Because of course you have to. Because you know what I mean? So their bullshit stories are so long, they couldn't even get through everyone. So I have no idea how these people are going to vote. And I don't even know. I still think... I don't, like, what the hell is, is full of shit. She, she does, she's not an anti-vaxxer. And she's just using a bold ass strategy. She's 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 pulling a she's pulling a she's she's pulling a, a Checo Perry versus Hamilton in Saudi Arabia. She's probably thinking if I tell them I am, or I was working in the medical field, like they'll be like, okay, they're bold of them to admit they worked in the medical field. They have to be telling the truth. Meanwhile, like what what the hell is a philosophical exemption? If you can write a long, a long enough essay to annoy the dean, he'll just let you do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, that's customer service for you. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to press play, but I think an ad's about to start that we have to kind of just skip through. Just give a sec. All right. It's yeah. David versus Goliath. Hey, the judgment God is calling. I want to watch this movie. Okay, so we're back from the ad break. Not our ads. Although, I have heard people, the five people that watch us <clears throat> on the regular, I have heard that even if you're not a monetized channel, YouTube does reserve the right to put ads on your video. So let us know if you've got any ad rolls without us knowing. That would be interesting. Yeah, anyway, let us get that paper. So how, uh, how, how would you vote? Like, who are you going to vote out? Because, like, half of the people didn't even get to, like, introduce themselves but from what I've heard so far all these people are fucking annoying and stupid so yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh find the fake stupid people <laughs> <laughs> harder than you think man harder than you think uh, I don't know maybe you made a good point though this dude was all like oh I had a, f a what a philosophical exemption which could be bullshit and that was his lie. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, I, have like, not I don't know how they're going to vote. Them. I don't know. Because remember, two of these fucking people are are not anti vax We'll just see who has the least... I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out! Alright. I wrote Brian because in the she way wrote we Brian. were joking that his ah, name was ah. Brian and not Ryan, and then I... That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was able to get a philosophical exemption, which I had never heard of. Yeah, she's she's on she's on your railroad. There's no there. way you could get away with not having a COVID test. Most people have gone through at least one by now. We've been like two years in. No, I haven't. I haven't. Have you had a COVID test, Wade? I could not. Vote I have. That. Yes, I, I have first not. First round. Thank God. <laughs> if anybody is the mole, it's not me. That's oh my God! Sure. They, they voted How the like it? most. Not being vaccinated affected like your guys' right. personal relationships, yep. like friends and family. I had to miss a wedding that I was really excited for for one of my friends back in Indiana. She ultimately decided to ask everyone who had be vaccinated because her grandparents were there, which I completely understood. But it was really heartbreaking to not be a part of that special day with her. Yeah. One side of my family refused. I'm to sorry. See it was hard for you. It was hard for you. Okay, so I think these are just COVID anti-vaxxers. Well, that's not, what not Ryan people that said. Take medicine. That's what yeah. Ryan said. Uh, he didn't say, he said, I want to make it clear I'm not anti-vax, I'm just anti the COVID vaccination because it was hard. Yeah. And then Correct, I went yeah. on my three-hour rant TED talk. Um, but it does Illuminati cells inside you. <laughs> yes, exactly. Bill Gates hit the control button and words came out of my mouth. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Looking through the windows. But I don't know, man. But yeah, the teacher dude's definitely an anti vaxxer because he's. Yeah, I think they've run, like, they've run to that an anti vaxxer. I mean, like, they, they, the, the fakes are still there. Oh, 100% the fakes are still there. 100%. Um, just what I actually originally wanted to touch on is, like, how could you be so self-centered that your best friend's getting married and has her grandparents at the ceremony? And she was like, hey, you're allowed to come just get vaccinated. Like, 
you know, a sensible human being. Right. And yeah, then she's I like, no, it's so yeah. hard. Like, no, you're creating your own bullshit here. I think it's a, it's a, it's a lot of paranoia. It's like, we get, we know who wears tinfoil hats now because of, because of COVID. We know who the crazy Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump stirred the pot. He didn't stir the pot. He took one of those fucking whiz machines and shoved it in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> and it separated the solids from the liquids. Anyway, let's go back. So that was kind of disheartening. And I feel like people tie certain political views to my personal idea not to get vaccinated. I'm not a right and a right wing extremist, which I feel like a lot of people are associating me with. I'm right, not just someone point. who is not vaccinated. I actually have natural immunity. I have contacted the virus before and um, multiple studies have shown that natural immunity actually lasts long. Okay, wait, hold on. Jubilee, the protection against reinf uh, reinfection by Omicron afford by past infection may be as low as 19%. Ooh. So, so Jubilee is throwing in some actual facts. Just to be like, yeah. hey, we we don't want to spread misinformation here. Thank you, um, she does. We, she probably does have a point, though. Like, COVID is just the point. point at this point because that's all the flu really was was a very mild form of a COVID virus. We just got the really bad version. Like, it's it's angry. It's angry little yeah, brother. You know, the one that had to take the, the one that's like, I've been because we had to eat bats. Uh, but um. Just as a, <laughs> uh, what did I want to say? Where she's kind of right, but you know how, like, if you really don't want kids, like how you yeah. wear a condom and your and your significant other takes the pill or the injection or the loop or whatever, but you yeah. can't wait to be sure. Like you're not, you're not one of the, like that's that's what like having the virus before and getting the vac and the vaccine is it's like just strengthening that level yeah. of i would i also think i think it's uh, something i want to get back onto my soapbox on i think the biggest thing the biggest piece of misinformation that that's out there is when people talk about vaccinations they believe it's a it means that you'll never get sick from this thing but that's not what a vaccine is. A vaccine is more like a, it's like a training manual for if you get the virus. It teaches your body how to deal with it. So that when you get the virus, A, it, it's way less likely to kill you. Not that you won't get it. Anyway. It'll be sad, Sorry? It'll suck, but you'll survive. <laughs> yeah, and obviously... As like most things, the more you get it or the more you do it, the less it sucks or the less harder it gets, you know? Yeah. Well, all the vaccine really is is a small amount of genetic evolution to help you grow faster. Okay. Not really, yeah. but all right, let's go. I'm sorry. I just want to see if these guys might, might, like, can convince me to be an anti-vaxxer. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> I will hurt you. Um, the opposite of tyranny <laughs> that would normally be associated with that. Yeah, yeah I'm very libertarian leaning. So Heck I'm yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. Or, like, I line up with oh my god! <laughs> Human League, you have stepped up your fucking game. You, you are a treasure. Oh, sweet God. Oh, oh, what a gem. What a gem that was. That was the most American thing I have ever seen. And we've seen school shootings recently. And, that and tops that. I was just about to say, that's the most American thing I've ever seen, and I've watched Team America. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Oh my god, that was amazing. I was not expecting that. Whoever edited oh. this video for Jubilee. Oh, just chef's kiss. 
I want to go back, but I don't want to stretch this video any longer. Go, oh, go. No, yeah, all right. <laughs> let's 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 keep going. Republican or Democrat? For me, it's yes. just we should have the ability to you know decide what we want to do. Yeah, and I just think it's scary too when the government starts to say <coughs> like they're doing this for your own health and their safety, and yeah. it's just funny like how all of a sudden the government started caring about your health. Wouldn't they have banned like smoking cigarettes yeah, like exactly. years ago? Yeah. Like it's it like, just. All right, hold on. Again. Mr. Mr. Teacher Boy, yeah. nobody's telling you that you you have to get the the vaccine. It is your choice because you are an adult. Mm -hmm. But yep. those choices have consequences. Like if you don't get vaccinated, you can't teach a room full of children. That's that's it. That's what it comes down to. You're allowed to not be vaxxed. 100%, but then there's consequences to those actions. And, like, the reason why the government didn't ban cigarettes is they make billions of dollars off of those people that sell cigarettes. That is very true. Yeah. They don't, they don't, uh, they don't make any money off of the COVID vaccine. Most, most countries, I believe, just give it out for free. It's free here in South Africa, if you were wondering. Yeah, I I don't remember paying for anything other than the the, the tests. Yeah, right. yeah, we have to pay for the tests. Where in a lot of countries that's free. Like in America, the the test there's like free test centers. Where we didn't have that here in South Africa, but um, mm. our our vaccine is free, and from what I understand, it is free everywhere. I don't think anywhere charged for it. Let me let me know. But, but, I mean, according to YouTube, only thirty nine percent of people that watch our videos is uh, from from South Africa. So if you're not from here and you've stumbled across us, hi, press like and subscribe and ring the bell and tell us if they charge for the vaccines in your country. All right, cool. But this is, this just is seemed the like most... a lot of censorship too, uh, like to not be uh, able sorry, to like, just, uh, find... Go. Yeah. So this is the most messed up thing about the American like medical aid system, like whatever medical insurance. There's no medical aid system. Like, <laughs> yeah, but but they, they say they give you the test for free. It's like, it's like oh cool. Like, not no, you've got the bug. Not everywhere. The test's not free everywhere. You had to go to free test centers. Yes, yes, yeah. but um, but, but say you go there, you get your free test. It's like okay, congratulations, you are sick. Now, <laughs> just like EA, okay, if you want to live or survive, you have to pay to live. What's it? Pay to survive now. Buy this loot box. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. The, the American medical aid system is basically an EA pay to win. Have you also noticed, this is, this is me, by the way, just in my opinion, but like, have you also noticed countries like ours and America where the, the health system is privatized? How yeah. the people that work in it, like our nurses and doctors, act like you're bothering them. Like you're getting, like, if you need help from them, it's like, why the fuck are you here? But if I you're in countries crazy. like the, yeah. well, I, I don't know, also again, if you're not from South Africa and you have a free health system, let me know if your medical pr practitioners are also assholes like ours. But like, I've I've just noticed like when I speak to people like from Canada or the UK, the it's just like the doctors are more patient there. Ha pun not intended. Yeah. Yeah. Well like 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 here, yeah, but like some government hospitals, there's like so much shit happening in them here. Yeah, it's like I'm um, like a like a while ago my dad had to go to the um to the hospital down here. And he got there, and they were waiting for like hours and hours and hours, and no one got saw by any doctor. It was about yeah. three o'clock eventually. He'd been there since like early morning. Yeah. And they were like, "No, no I'm sorry, like there's no doctors here. You guys have to go." It's like, then where the fuck were the doctors the whole day? So maybe so there's a lack of qualified doctors that I can think of. Yeah. Okay. And now all the nursing staff have to try and deal with everyone. Because yes. basically, it's just the free clinic side. Once you get past the free clinic side, like those hospitals are legit. Yes, are like they're amazing. No, no, they're pretty good. They are pretty good. Anyway.